of Rhode Island has become uh, a major source for mushrooms. Uh, in a way, it always has been, but we're not talking about hallucinogenic magic mushrooms, not uh, those at all. It's the tasty kind that grace tables in some local restaurants. Hey, Channel's Howard Markson went on a mushroom hunt in the woods near Shawnigan Lake today, and he joins us now to show us what he found. Howard. Well, Hudson, they grow almost anywhere, and the good ones can be very valuable. But you absolutely have to know what you're doing before you go out hunting mushrooms for your dinner table. In this area, I mean, I'm looking for um, a drone. Brent King knows what to look for and where the valuable mushrooms can be found. He runs Pacific Rim Mushrooms and has been doing this for years. This is the tail end of the season, but there are still lots of great mushrooms to be found. You can search for years and years and years and years to get the best spot. One that's popular is the chanterelle mushroom and it has a close cousin called a hedgehog. When they're found, Brent cuts them right off at the stem. Usually have a little bucket, plop that in it, and there you go, a couple of hedgehogs. Hedgehog, yeah. hedgehog. and they're, they're good eating, they're valuable? They're, they're valuable, they're great eating. But the mushrooms that are really valuable, white gold they call them, are the pine mushrooms, known as the matsutake in Japan. So, the hunt is on. Well, this looks like a really good area for the pine mushroom. You've got the right kind of tree species with the moss and the salal. So if I just move some sticks here, there's one there. Oh, wow, they're big. Looks like the stem is growing this way, so you just pop yeah, it you out. see that it's coming right out that way. Yeah, yeah you, even if you just tap the head of it, you know from experience that it's growing this way. Oh. So, boom, it's out. It's like a gorgeous number one mushroom. Pickers usually get about $7 a pound for the pine mushrooms they gather. They bring the biggest returns on time spent in the woods. But the pickers will only take the mushrooms that have an actual value. So what do they call the mushrooms that have no real market value? Well, there's this term for them. They're called LBMs, little brown mushrooms. Most of the pine mushrooms go to Japan, but others are shipped to Europe, China, and to restaurants in eastern Canada. Having fresh, wild mushrooms can be a big plus for a chef cooking up a special dish. Brasserie Les Coal buys some of their mushrooms directly from Brent King, and the restaurant says dishes using those are very popular with diners. Cream chanterelles on toast, uh, like so the cream morels, that sort of thing. Yeah, very, very popular. So next time you eat at a restaurant and order a dish like this, you may want to give a thought to where the ingredients originated. So in the right woods here, of Vancouver Island. Guy, yeah. out, yeah. Now, picking mushrooms is not without its risks, Hudson. Uh, Brent King has told us that he's been uh, nuzzled awake by a bear and has stared down a cougar in the woods of Vancouver Island. Uh, and, and I think it's important that we uh, warn viewers again to make sure that they don't eat any mushrooms that they're not absolutely sure of. Yeah, that's for sure. Know what you're looking for. Sure. All right, Howard, thank you.